here's the fluorescent light. I'm going to change ballast on. You can see there's two ballasts on this one. We're going to switch it over to one ballast running four light bulbs. Currently these ballasts are individually controlling two each. It was just cheaper to buy four ballasts. The whole thing's connected, so if you have that option, it's usually cheaper. And we'll get on to it, changing uh, over to a, a T12 to a T8 light bulb and ballast. First of all, on all ballasts, there's a uh, wiring diagram. As you can see, we have yellow that runs the bulbs are jumped one wire runs two bulbs the other wire runs two bulbs then we have the red over here that runs over and runs two bulbs and then the blue runs two bulbs individually so we're gonna have to do a lot of jumping on the um, We're going to be doing a lot of jumping on the uh, receptacles. I'll show you how that's done in a minute. First of all, what I do is I put the wires right at the ballast. And then uh, I remove the bolts holding down the ballast. and then repeat it on the other side. Next, we're gonna remove the receptacles. Pretty simple to do. Yours might be different, but that's how simple they are. You do that to all eight receptacles so we can get to the wiring behind them. Okay, here's a receptacle. This is what they look like. There's the wires going into the unit. Now in order to uh, get the wires out of the unit, I have a I have a open one here. That's how the wires are held in. And what you have is slots. There's a big slot which the wire goes in and then there's this slot. What you need is an owl of some sort what you do is you push it in up against this metal and bend it back and then the wire slides out just like that and in order to put it in later on when we reassemble it you just push it in like that and there you go so what you're doing is pushing on that so that pushing on this metal and then pulling the wire out and like I said slide it back in bottom hole just like that bottom's the same way there's a bigger hole and this is the one that you push with the that's where the wire goes And then you just push on this, releases the wire. And just push it on that. So we're going to do that to all, all of the receptacles. They're all laid out. Wires are all scattered.
All right, while well, uh, breaking down my um, all the wiring, I kept a couple of uh, wires. I kept a white wire and a blue wire, and I'll show you why later. But first of all, with the white wire, we're going to make jumpers. And um, I've done this earlier on another light, so I already know that each of my jumpers need to be approximately two and a half inches long. So I need eight of these because I got to jump. I got to jump a wire from here to here. Let me see if I can get that in there. I need to jump a wire from here over to here. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut out eight of them, strip them back, and start putting um, the wires in these sockets. All right, I got my tape measure out. I'm measuring two and a half. I'll snip it. And I'll just continue making eight of these wires. There's eight wires. Now all you do is you there's a on the back I don't know if you can make it out, but there's a thing called a strip gauge. That's how much of the insulation <clears throat> you need to cut back, so just by eyeballing it. You strip back that. strip back another. Now what I do is the two big holes I stick it in one end make sure it's grabbed then I bend this over push it into the other hole and then I bend it bend the wire towards the back of it just like that. And you do that eight times Another thing while you're working on your um, receptacles, I don't know if you can see it, but that tab is pretty bent. So, you know, while you're working on the, uh, and you notice that something's, you know, messed up or bent, go ahead and just straighten it out. You know, grab your pliers and just straighten it out. And there's my jumper wire. On this particular light, what's nice about it is it's got different mounting holes for different ballasts. And the ballast that we had set between this screw and this screw way down here. This one. But what I want to do is like I said, what's nice about this one is it has this slot and then uh, these screw holes. Slide this down. Now, the slot, if you look at your ballast, if you look at your ballast, there's feet. And if you see, there's like a little slot here. That's where you're where it'll go into your bolt. But what's nice is it'll also slot into these two slots right here. So what I like to do is I've already done a couple of these lights. 